All right, so we've uh, discovered and added IP cameras, set up recording, we've added RTSP streams, we've checked out the I.O. devices. Next up is a virtual camera. You guys know what a virtual camera is? Find out, find out. No ideas? What do you think a virtual camera is? I'm about to find out. Camera within a camera? Ooh. No. So a virtual camera, the reason we call it virtual camera, okay, is it, it's not really a live stream. It's a it's a it's basically you're creating a folder, right, on the, in the archive where you can drop recorded videos. And then those videos can be used by other operators like a camera. Right, so they can still go back and see them on the timeline, bookmark them, do all the things you need to do, right? Okay. Um, so to create a virtual camera, you right click on a server, just like you do with adding anything, right? And let me get some, rid of some of these cameras here, they're all on my computer, I'm going to move up to the X2 so they don't take up all my storage. So I'm going to right click on Tony's desktop here called Add device. Oop, sorry. Let's take it back. That's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the top and click on new and then go to virtual camera. All right. And then you can name it. So I'm going to call it Tony's GoPro because I got a GoPro camera here that I use to capture footage. All right. Press OK. So you'll see there's a little action cam looking thing that comes in there, right? Now, interesting thing is you can use fish ID warping on virtual cameras. So if you have a fisheye image, you can capture fisheye stuff and you can look at it, right? Um, but for general, right, when you go to the general tab, you're going to see upload footage, right? Upload file, uploaded folder, right? You can do one of two things. You can upload a file or you can upload a folder, right? <laughs> if, you're, if you record it for some reason upside down, you can rotate it. You can have audio on it, all that kind of good stuff, right? Uh, motion detection. So when you upload the video, we will run motion analysis on it, right? And you can set the sensitivity right now when you're uploading it so that you can then review that video for motion. Uh, so for example, wildlife cameras, right? Maybe you capture a long period of footage because you want to look for like specific motion, specific pixels. That's a good example, right? We actually have customers that do wildlife research. Um, so Inkfon, you've created something called Inkfon's virtual camera, I see. Yeah. All right, so you can try and upload footage from your machine. So what you do is right-click on that camera, go to settings, right, upload file. Uh -huh. If you notice, when you right-click on it, you can upload a file directly to or a folder directly. So go to upload file, right, and then you're going to need to find some files to upload, right. So I've got some GoPro footage on my computer, right. It's underneath pictures, GoPro, right, and then there's some different dates. When you're uploading footage, the EXIF information, right, the EXIF data uh, will show up, right? So actually, I'm going to do upload folder and just grab that whole folder. Why not? So pictures, choose. Oh. What's that? I'm going to upload the architecture video. Yeah, you know what? That one's not, for some reason, GoPro is not letting me upload right now. So I'm going to grab some other videos. Why not? So let's go to TLUS, so my computer, Google File Stream, my drive. Let's go look for videos. We got some videos in here. Why not? Mm -hmm. Sales and videos. And let's go for uh, random video clips. Why not? So this video here. You can see if you drag these uh, this out, you can see the, the information about it. So let's see, let's just find the one that's closest to me because it's going to go back to 2016. Education parking lot. So I'm going to open that file. Does not have a timestamp. There you go. So that one didn't have a timestamp. So apparently we're only allowed to do stuff with timestamps. Uh, what about this one? Yes. Uploading. Famous Hollywood sign aerial view. Right? So you'll see it upload. Uh, it'll run its uh, it'll run its uh, motion detection on it, and then that file is now gonna be available. So if I open up that camera, right there it is. 
pow, and you can see the date. It's from 2014, 631 AM when that was recorded. Right? So now you guys, if you go to my camera, right, you should be able to play back that video just like I do. Right? So go to Tony's GoPro and double click on it. Just open a new tab cat. Tony's GoPro under NX2. X2? Yeah, Tony's GoPro. Okay. There you go. So you're watching the video. So, pretty cool, right? Um, that's virtual camera. That's virtual camera. So actually, we developed this feature for um, Fukushima nuclear power plant. So you know when they had the tsunami, um, and it caused there were some of the rack cores to get damaged. Uh, they were sending robots uh, into the facility, and they were dying. So. This is a feature that they requested, so they put GoPros on uh, or Sony cameras on the robots to be able to uh, view what was causing them to die. Right. So, pretty cool feature. That is virtual camera. Should work with action cams, wearable cams, mobile cameras, drone footage, basically anything where you want to take footage from the outside world, body cams for guards, bring it into the system, and then make it uh, keep it for long-term usage or review. Right. Virtual cam. Next up, we have add web pages.